What is going on, BTFA Army and Apes Up? I got some news. You might have heard Hobbs talking about it. You could have heard Vern talking about it. You might have heard Alpha Male talking about it. You might have heard somebody talking about it. But here's the important thing. They're letting chicks in now. Ugh. This is not financial advice. I'm just kidding. We love you, ladies. But uh, there is a third BTFA ape coming. She's a girl. She's a female. And I can't wait to meet her. It's not financial advice. But I'm always right. I'm trying to put money in your pocket. That crypto wallet. That bing, bada, bing, ching, ching, big profit. Go in the market sideways. I'm looking for ways to get paid. I'm checking my coins around breakfast, then again around bedtime, bet this. It's not financial advice, <laughs> but I'm always right. Uh, I'm always right. Uh, I'm always right. Uh, I'm always right. I'm always right. I'm always right. All right, guys, uh, we are checking out the chart right now. Uh, BTFA is trading at 73.39. Let's look up here. We see Ethereum trading at 17.20. That means the wrapped Ethereum portion is doing its portion right now. The rest is going to be up to us. We, the investors, are what are going to make this thing move to that next level. Uh, we're going to need some probably some impetus. We're going to need a little bit here. The Asian markets are up right now, so we are probably going to be kind of sideways for the evening. If Ethereum starts to make a move, then we'll make a move along with it. You can see here from the 9 and the 15 that we're sitting in an okay position. Uh, you're seeing them kind of... Uh, wrap around themselves, but you're also seeing that we're uh, doing a pretty good job over the 50 day, which would lend itself to we're going to have a big move to the upside. Now, why we have a big move to the upside? Wait, before I tell you, before I tell you, y'all want to see a dead body? You do. All right. Well, let's go look at the Bandex chart, right? And I don't know how high I had to be or whatever it was. Maybe I had too much caffeine this day, but if you see this crap right here, I did this. I did this. I try to give you guys, I try, look guys, I try to give you information about where I think these cryptos are going. And I pulled this up just a few minutes ago to kind of look at the chart and to give you guys a little bit of information about where I thought everything was going to go. And, and, and I thought I must've had an extra chromosome or something because I have no idea what in the hell I was talking about here, except that I see here that at one point a couple days ago, we were talking about a bear flag pennant. I assume that that's what it was. I assume that I was looking at it and I probably just saw a bear flag and I thought, you know what? Maybe this is what's going on. And I have no idea what. I was on the day chart. So now I'm on the hour. And yeah, that's exactly what I did. Now, as you can see here, we did have some fall down and, and Bandex did not support this uh as it was bouncing around in this channel right here and you can see this flag was kind of closing this was that uh, this really was a bull pennant by the way and it seemed to be forming and i don't know how you feel about um about those kind of things i don't know how you feel about a bull pennant but i think it's usually a pretty good sign because what you're doing is you are getting new higher highs and you're minting new lower lows and that is a pretty bullish and good sign but we did have a breakdown however when we start to zoom back out and we look at that breakdown then we're going to go down here and we're going to start to move this we're going to touch as much of these as we can across this top here and you see here uh, i hope everybody is watching at home because we are moving towards that upside now we're going to do the same thing down here and we're going to do that same little piece over here we're not going to have as much to touch on because we don't have as much touch on. But look at this. We are still moving in an upward fashion when you look at this thing long term. That's exactly what you want to see. And that's how Bandex moves to that next level. Now, one more piece that was spoken about that I've heard some people talking about and asking in other uh, chats. And that is, well, I, it, I thought every week BTFA was going to buy the floor on OpenSea. So if you come over here and you look at the collection, then, you know, we're talking about buying the floor over here. We got a bunch of 0.06s, a few 0.07s, and every week we're supposed to come in here, kind of sweep up the bottom and do that. But the only way that we can do that is if you guys are invested into Bandex because that's where the fees and the money comes from. It doesn't come out of thin air. So this volume of $5,000 that's not going to be sufficient. So what we need is we need to up the trading volume 
And if you go over to Coin Market Cap, and we can see on all of the markets, maybe the trading volume is a little higher. And you can see here the trading volume on BitMart is 192,000. So uh, there is a little bit more trading volume, but it's not enough trading volume to continue to keep buying this up. So, guys, we need your help. We need you to go out here, spread the word about BTFA, spread the word about Bandex, do all you can to help shill this product. And if you do that, then good things going to happen to us, especially Bandex. This is a $1.62 million market cap on uh, a token with a $7 million market cap that already has an NFT collection that is now, drum roll please, because I spoiled it for you already, uh, meeting with Art Version, which is a company I'm going to show you in just one second, on the branding and development direction of Blip Studios and BTFA. Blip Studios, look, the monkey verse is coming. Did I say that right? The ape verse is coming, the gorilla verse. I don't know. It's going to be a verse. And I don't know, it's going to be something, right? But art version, uh, we design experience. We design experiences. We work with brands to drive innovation and growth through experimental design. This is your experimental design company, and they are located in Chicago, where all the good stuff is, like Sway, like me. You know what I'm talking about. But um, at your leisure, go look these guys up. Go check these guys out. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about them right now. I just want to let you know they exist. They're out here. And we need some Bandex in order to sweep this floor. We need to do what we got to do. You want to happen, happen. Uh, and let's move on. All right, guys, I'm losing my mind, as you guys can see it. I, I write crazy stuff all over Bandex. Uh, I'm over here talking about art version instead of BTFA. I'm all over the place. But guess what? That's why y'all love me, right? But listen, BTFA is a special token. We are destined for a $300 million market cap at a minimum, at a minimum. Bandex, $50 million market cap at a minimum. Stake your BTFA, stake your Bandex, but continue to buy, continue to trade. We need your help on Bandex. So if you are an investor and you're looking to get into something, uh, especially something like Bandex, where you actually have control over the DAO and what can be called to a vote, and you want voting privileges, then this is the place to do it for the BTFA project. So if you're interested in that, this is the perfect investment opportunity for you. My name's Belize. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right. And apes up, guys. We'll see you on the next one. We got a live coming pretty soon.